In this clip, we will show how to analyze the load on the fullest bin. Review that uh, in the balls and bins experiment, we throw uh, n balls into n bins. Okay, independently at random. So each ball falls into any bin with uniform probability. And we have analyzed that the expected number of empty bin is this. And we claim that it, it is roughly n over e. Okay, uh, as n gets, gets large. Okay, the reason for this is that uh, this value is getting close to 1 over e as n get, gets large. Okay, so uh, to see this, uh, first note, note that 1 plus x is close to e to the x when x is small. So if we graph it, it's going to look like this. Okay, so this is the and function e to the uh okay so this is one and the function one one plus x looks like this it's a linear function and e to the x look like look pretty much like this and around this area it is very close Okay, so to see that it is very close, uh, for more, a little bit more formally, is, is to look at the Taylor expansion of e to the x. If you do that, you get uh, that e to the x is this sum, uh, x tend to infinity, and 1 plus x is this term. Okay, and the other terms, like, is always po uh, positive, and if x is small, right? Then uh, this these term x square x cube x to the four and all these terms are will be well will be really small and so therefore this term gets really close to x, e to the x okay so if you put uh, one minus one over n okay to the n so. Uh, this one is very close to uh, e to the this term. It's close to uh, this is one mi plus minus one over n, right? So it's close to this term, and you raise it to the power of n. So this is right, roughly this is equal to e to the minus one. Okay. Um, in general, if uh, you have a constant c. This this kind of terms, as uh, n goes to infinities, this kind this terms goes to e to the c. Okay. Right. Okay. So that's the number of empty bins, expected number of empty bins. Uh, what are? Is there any other interesting problem that uh, we would like to talk about? Um, so we know that uh, some bins get small than one ball, right? And some some bin will be likely uh, to get more than average load, okay? Because the average load is one, okay? So uh, someone gets more than one balls, then um, it's getting more than average, right? But how how bad can it be, right? So the average is one, and can you get five? Or can you get ten? Or is it depends on n, okay? So we would like to analyze uh, this uh, this. Uh, the maximum load on the any any bin. Okay, so say you have five bins, and maybe you end up like this. So this 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 bin has the maximum load. So this is fullest bin, okay, and it gets two uh, balls. Okay, so if you keep throwing on that, so now this one gets three. It's still the fullest bin, okay? All right. So as a warm up, um, we would like to compute the number of balls in bin one, okay? So let's y be the number of balls in bin one. So what is expected value of y? So not any bin, right? So it's just bin one. Okay. Can you uh, think about this? And I'll, I'll wait for a few seconds. You can pause if you need more time. Oh. 
All right. Um, so the way to calculate this y, we're gonna uh, define a new random variable. Okay, so define ball ball i a random variable uh, v y i to be one if ball i fall into bin one and this is zero otherwise okay and note that y is the sum of y i right we have here n balls okay so if balls i falls into bin one um we count it okay so we we do not count if it falls into some other bins okay so we have this so that's expected value of y equals the expected value of the sum of y i and because of the linearity of expectation this is equal to the sum of the expectation so the expectation of the sum equals the sum of expectation okay so y. now what is the expected value of yi expected value of yi so uh, it's one is zero with some probability and uh, which i don't really care but let's do it one more time equals zero plus one times probability that y i equals one and this is zero and one is gone so it's probably that uh, ball i fall into bin one there are n bins so the probability is one over n now we put it in here so this is there are n guys and each of this is one over n and this is one okay so the expected number of ball is in bin one is just one okay so uh the expectation is is right and and we expect to see uh the ball that uh spread out equally right all right but our goal is different so we'd like to we like some guarantee that it is unlikely that some bins some bin gets too many balls okay, okay. but what does it mean to be uh, how many is too many okay so so for us we don't really know so we just leave it as a variable k and we use k to un, uh, to uh, to compute for the probabilities and then uh, and that uh, would be uh, then we figure out try to figure out the value of k okay and uh and because this is some bin right so it means like any bin so uh it's kind of hard so we will just start with bin one okay so let's look at bin one first so what we like to say is that we would like to compute the probability that bin one get at least k balls so uh we have already defined random variable y right we, we want to compute this okay but as the first step and this is the equation of the segment okay this is your questions we'll show you the answer in the next segment but uh let's think about the probability that bin one get exactly k balls okay so out of n balls k balls fall into bin one okay so what is this probabilities so this is question no not this question of the segment okay i'll see you in the next segment so try to figure it out and you'll see the answer in the next segment